KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi friends, in this video, let's discuss trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Okay, do you know what are complementary angles? What are complementary angles? If two angles are said to be complementary, then their sum should be 90 degrees. If two angles are said to be complementary, then their sum should be exactly 90 degrees. Understood? Consider a right angle triangle ABC. A right angle at B. Consider a right angle triangle ABC. Right angle at B. In the triangle, there are, is there any complementary angle? Are there any complementary angles? Yes. Look here. Suppose angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Here we know that angle B is 90 degrees. Next, uh, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Right? So this will be 90 degrees. Then the sum of the remaining two angles should be 90 degrees or not? Yes, exactly. So angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So, angle A and C are said to be complementary angles, right? Okay, if you take theta is an acute angle at A, theta is an acute angle at A, then what is the angle at C? What is the angle at C? Yes, that will be 90 minus theta. Why? Because suppose here, in the place of A, substitute theta plus C is equal to 90 degrees. Angle C is... 90 minus theta right or not so this is 90 minus theta okay in this right angle triangle for theta this is opposite side and this is adjacent side for theta bc is the opposite side and ab is the adjacent side and for 90 minus theta for 90 minus theta ab is the opposite side and bc is the adjacent side right yeah so hypotenuse is the common right okay let's define trigonometric ratios from this uh, right triangle look here here for sin theta sin theta is equal to how will you define for theta sin theta opposite side by hypotenuse here opposite side means bc by ac bc by ac right next uh, cos theta cos theta how can you define yes that is adjacent side to theta by hypotenuse. Adjacent side means AB by AC. AB by AC. Next, uh, tan theta. Tan theta, how will you define? Yes, opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta. That is BC by AB. BC by AB. Next, quad theta, how can you define? Yes, this is the quad theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. Na? So that's why this is AB by BC. Next, similarly, cosecant theta, how can you define? This is the reciprocal of sin theta, that is AC by BC. AC by BC. Next, final one, secant theta. Secant theta, how can you define? Yes, it is the reciprocal of cos theta, that is AB by AC means it's reciprocal AC by a B. Understood? Yeah. Next. So, this is uh, about theta. We have written about theta. Next, uh, write about uh, define the 90 minus theta. Write about 90 minus theta. All the trigonometric values. Look here. Sine 90 minus theta. Sine 90 minus theta. See, here sin theta. For sin 90 minus theta, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. So, a opposite side means this, adjacent side means this, hypotenuse is the same. So, for sin, sin 90 minus theta, opposite side by hypotenuse, which means AB by AC. AB by AC. Similarly, cos 90 minus theta. Cos 90 minus theta. For cos 90 minus theta, 
this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse so which means adjacent side means bc bc by ac bc by ac next tan 90 minus theta for tan 90 minus theta for this this opposite side by adjacent side means ab by bc right or not ab by bc next uh, quad theta quad 90 minus theta this will be this is reciprocal of this one that's why how can you write bc by ab easily you can write next uh, cosecant theta cosecant 90 minus theta this is the reciprocal of this one that uh, that's why ac by ab next uh, secant 90 minus theta that is equal to this is the reciprocal of this one ac by bc okay clearly observe these two tables what did you observe okay sin 90 minus theta is equal to ab by ac so ab by ac means that is cos theta okay sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta the same way cos 90 minus theta means bc by ac here bc by ac means sin theta so cos 90 minus theta will be sin theta understood next tan 90 minus theta is equal to ab by bc where is ab by bc here c ab by bc so tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta understood next cot 90 minus theta is bc by ab bc by ab means here look here bc by AC, ab that is tan theta so cot 90 minus theta is tan theta next uh, cosecant 90 minus theta is equal to ac by ab here ac by ab means in this table ac by ab this is secant theta so cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta next secant 90 minus theta is equal to ac by bc here in this table this is ac by bc so secant 90 minus theta will be cosecant theta understood okay from these two tables we can clearly say that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta and uh, cos 90 minus theta is sin theta okay similarly tan 90 minus theta is cot theta and cot 90 minus theta is tan theta next uh, cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta and secant 90 minus theta is cosecant theta so this is about uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles okay we'll do some examples on complementary angles look here first one tan 36 degrees by cot 54 degrees is equal to how much tan 36 degrees by cot 54 degrees is equal to how much look here 36 plus 54 will be 90 degrees yes okay so this equal to tan 36 how can you write 90 minus 54 isn't it 90 minus 54 by cot 54 this is as it is right now cot 54 only we have to change this one tan 36 tan 90 minus 54 it can be written as that is equal to tan 90 minus 54 is tan 90 minus theta cot theta very good that is cot 54 degrees this is cot 54 by cot 54 is equal to cot 54 by cot 54 one so the value of tan 36 by cot 54 is one otherwise you can do in a another method also how this will be see this is tan 36 by cot 54 this as it is write down this change this will be cot 90 minus 36 right 90 minus 36 so this is tan 36 cot 90 minus theta will be tan theta tan the which means tan 36 tan 36 tan 36 get cancelled answer is one you may follow 
any one method right next another one cos 12 degrees minus sin 78 degrees is equal to how much how can you do this is also same see 12 plus 78 is 90 yes so cos 12 minus this is sin 90 minus 12 isn't it 90 minus 12 we become 78 this is cos 12 minus sin 90 minus 12 become sin 90 minus theta yes cos theta that is cos 12 so cos 12 minus cos 12 this is 0 otherwise you may change this also as a 90 minus 78 that will be sin 78 sin 78 sin 78 get cancelled that is answer is 0 understood there is a one shortcut regarding this shortcut in shortcut method how can you do here look here tan and cot are combination of complementary angles that's why here 36 plus 54 will make 90 degrees now so whenever in the form of like this the combination of complementary angles see 1 by 1 that is equal to 1 1 by 1 that is equal to 1 simply okay here also same same uh, cos and sin are combination of complementary angles next uh, uh, 12 plus 78 will become 90 degrees then here 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 this is the answer this is the, that is the shortcut regarding this okay okay next example what is the value of tan 48 into tan 16 into tan 48 into tan 70? What is the value of tan 48 into tan 16 into tan 42 into tan 74? Look here. Here, the sum of 48 and 42 will become 90 degrees. The sum of 16 into 74 will become 90 degrees. Write down. Tan 48 into, here, after that, this write down tan 42 into this will be tan 16 into this is tan 74 okay uh, yes look here this is tan 48 as it is right now 42 how can you write tan 90 minus 48 right 42 can be written as 90 minus 48 okay very good next uh, tan 16 also as it is right now this will be tan 74 how can you write tan 90 minus 16 90 minus 16 90 minus 16 will be 74 that is equal to tan 48 into tan 90 minus theta s cot theta so that is cot 48 next tan 16 into tan 90 minus theta again cot theta that will be cot 16. So tan and cot are reciprocals. The product of these will be 1. And product of these will be 1. 1 into 1 that is equal to 1. So therefore tan 48 into tan 16 into tan 42 into tan 74 is equal to 1. Understand? What is the shortcut? What is the shortcut regarding, regarding this sum? Look here. Here all are tan only all the trigonometric ratios are tan next uh, the sum of angles should be look here 98 42 9, uh, 48 uh, 42 90 16 and 74 will be 90 so if we give like this their product will be 1 the trigonometric ratios number of trigonometric ratios should be in even number here see how many are there 1 2 3 4 if you give 1 2 3 4 their uh, product should be 1 6 their product should be 1 if you give 2 only their product should be 1 like that but he has to give all the trigonometric ratios are same understood is it clear okay friends if you like my video please like and share if you want more videos subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much